Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? Have you ever had a TikTok video hunt your dreams? Because I just did. This jiggly cat jelly pudding video is living in my head rent free and it's all I can think about day and night. <laughs> I'm not kidding, somehow it wiggled its way into my dreams and it was weird. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I was like, I'm making this. <laughs> Apparently this jiggly cat jelly pudding went viral in Korea, but I think, I'm not sure, but I think it all started in Japan. I don't care where it started, as long as it ends up in my plate, I'm happy. So I'll be making it today. Listen, I don't think I'm qualified for this. No, well, we're never qualified for anything we do in these videos. These are the modes that I will use to make the jiggly dogs. Dogs? Wait. <laughs> yeah, listen, why they don't make jiggly dogs? Why only cats? I think dogs don't jiggle. Oscar? <laughs> um, how about no? I'm shocked how easy it is to make this. The recipe is so simple, so easy, even for me. Huh? I just need some water and gelatin powder. I'll take a bowl and mix them. Don't worry, everything is under control. Yes, yes, I need to stay delusional. It's just part of the process, which we're not trusting. It's way too early to start messing things up. Well, I think I'm gonna need some extra water. The first step is to mix the gelatin powder with the water and let it bloom for 10 minutes. That is literally what the recipe says. We need to let it bloom. Why are we mixing gardening with cooking? Bloom! I'm good at neither of those. I think what they meant by saying blooming is that I just need to wait for the gelatin powder to just well, that sounded like a fart. We're not waiting for the gelatin powder to fart. That sound effect was not very accurate. It just needs to soak all the water. I think it needs to go from looking like this to looking like that. Go, 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 go. Now let's go in the kitchen because things are about to get heated. <laughs> My weapon of choice is obviously a pan. Or a deep pot with a very long handle. I don't know how this is called, it doesn't matter. This is my cow juice and apparently I'm storing it in my fridge in glasses. <laughs> Just wanna be able to grab it and drink it. I'm also adding some sugar, spice and everything nice. You know, sometimes I sit alone in my room in the dark asking myself this question that I still haven't found the answer to. I'm often wondering why does the food that I cook tastes so bad. What am I doing wrong? Why is it always terrible? And then filming this video, I figured it out. I just had to look at it from a different perspective. And oh my God, I wish I never did. Cause if this was my view while being cooked, I would be better too. Oh my God, I would have been the absolute worst. Just like the food that I cook is. That explains so much. So instead of just staring at my food, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna dance for it. I look like a blender. Oh my God, I need to clean my eyes. You know, the sad part is that all of that performance that you just had to witness against your will was for absolutely nothing. I forgot to turn on the stove. Unfortunately, I can't warm up my food with my hot dance moves. This video is different from any other cooking video that I've ever made. This time, I am fully prepared. There is absolutely nothing going wrong. I was not kidding when I said, don't worry, everything is under control. So I bought this tool approximately two years ago. It's a thermometer for meat. But I think I can also use it for my milk. The recipe says that I need to heat up the milk until it starts to steam at around 70 degrees Celsius. Got it, 70 degrees, got it. I'm gonna just patiently wait. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, there we go. We're in the 70s. Nice, 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 nice. That's good, this is very good. Then I need to let it steep for about 10 minutes at 70 degrees. Fun fact, 70 degrees is the highest temperature recorded on Earth in the Lut Desert. I googled it. And it looks like it's kind of like a tourist attraction. With 165 reviews, it has 4.7 stars. I bet it, it must be nice. I didn't like the heat. Sir, you are in the desert. It's gonna be odd if it's not hot. Nothing much here either. Nice place to get away from everything. Ever. Oh. Well, 
good to know. In my opinion, it's overrated. It's a bigger pile of sand in the middle of nowhere. No toilets. <clears throat> a pile of sand sounds like the perfect toilet for a cat. Oh, which brings me back to the jiggly cats we're making. Hey, Denny, what's going on over there? It's not really doing anything. Oh no, my camera is overheating. It's so hot. In here, that milk is not the only one being cooked. Me and my camera are also being cooked. Oh, 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 my milk is, my milk is bubbling. Look, it's bubbling. Oh, no. or yes, I don't know. It's bubbling aggressively now. Those bubbles can mean only one thing. I don't know what that thing is though. Okay, um, I think we should move on to the next step. This is my bloomed gelatin powder from earlier, remember? Yeah, it is going straight into the hot milk. I'll mix it a little bit and... Having one of these right now would have made my life significantly easier, but since I don't have one. I'll take this paper cup and I will pinch the edge with my fingers and hoping this will make it easier for me to pour the mixture into the molds. I'm not stressed out at all. I don't know why this vein is trying to pop out of my forehead. See, if I'm just chilling, you, you can't see it. It must be the heat. Let me go check out the recipe in case I forgot to do something. Ah, yeah. Strain the milk tea mixture into the cut jelly molds until it's approximately one centimeter from the top. That's a little less than that. All right, anyways, just, let's just put it in the fridge and hope for the best. Now, I've seen so many different versions of these jiggly cuts online, but honestly, all of them are a little demure, very cutesy very modest. But where are the flashy neon colors? Why is no one making them super colorful? What is stopping everyone from making a super colorful jiggly cat? Is it impossible? Well, <laughs> I'm here to take on the challenge. I'm gonna try to make the most colorful jiggly cat the world have ever seen. Here comes my second attempt. Dun dun dun! <laughs> run. Actually, don't run, stay. <laughs> I'm gonna pour all of my creativity, all of my talent, which is not much, but <laughs> I'm trying to work with whatever I have, okay? Into probably the first ever made colorful jiggly cat. I'll need a pot, some milk. Actually, I'm gonna need a lot of milk. I'm gonna need a lot of cat juice. Cat juice? Cat juice. <laughs> Wait, what? Cow juice. We're, we're no, 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 not cat juice. Cow juice. And that's too much. See, cooking for myself is so much more fun than cooking for other people. <laughs> First of all, other people can hurt your feelings. I have very fragile feelings when it comes to my food. If I cook for someone and they're like, mm, it's good. Yeah, but how good is it? On a scale of one to ten, how good is it? Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a five. Five? Oh. <laughs> I just can't take it. I'm sorry. I Just lie to me. Tell me that the food is good. Anyways, I'm getting off track. What I was saying, cooking for myself gives me so much more freedom than when I'm cooking for others because I'm free to do whatever I want. Nothing is gross. I'm making the exact same mixture as before, but this time I'm gonna skip the black tea. I'm not adding any black tea to this one. My plan is very, 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 very simple. Hello, who's there? It's so dark, I see nothing. Ah, I can smell your stinky feet. Ah, human, it's you. Got any treats? Well, never mind. I will go choose some toilet paper roll. It smells nasty here. He doesn't want to be a part of this. I get it. I don't want to be a part of this either. But it's too late for me to just leave. So as I was saying, my plan goes like this. I will separate the mixture into five different bowls. These are actually muffin molds, but uh, anyways. And I'll be adding different food coloring to each one. So I get purple, blue, pink, orange, yellow, you know, all the colors. Easy peasy, if I had a lemon, I would squeeze it. Every time things go well, you know what I do? I get suspicious. This is the cut that I have in my mind. This is how I want it to look. However, if I just throw all of these colors on top of each other without a plan, I get this. 
No, that's not gonna work. I need to think of something else. Maybe I can pour one color, chill it in the fridge, and then wait for it to firm up before I pour the next one. But here is where it gets tricky. If I do that while the one color is chilling in the fridge, the other colors might start setting too soon, turning from liquid to blobs. So what do I do? You get to work. Ugh. Come on, come on, get up. Oh. Come on, then you need to be quick with this one. You need to start now. I'm gonna try. Now! <coughs> I wanna give a massive, enormous, gigantic shout out to my trusty fridge. What? For not losing its cool today. <laughs> my muffin mode, the paper cups, but most importantly, <gasps> My luck! Without it, this whole thing would not be possible. No, but jokes aside, I got so lucky. I poured my first layer, the purple. I crossed my fingers and I hoped the other colors would stay liquid. Because if they solidified, if they turned into jelly, well, that would mean that I'll need to do the same exact mixture from the beginning for each color, which is like four more times. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. But guess what? The purple set perfectly in the fridge and the other colors, oh, they behaved. They stayed liquid. And that allowed me to just chill each color in the fridge before adding the next one. I had absolutely no problems. Nothing got messy, which is like rare, but when it happens, I'm like, hey. The next day. It's a new day, but I'm the same silly goose as yesterday. This has been chilling in the fridge for over 12 hours. I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks a little weird on top. It's just so wrinkly. Kinda looks like my toes after I've been swimming. <gasps> I think it's the milk. The milk did this. I'm gonna try to just poke some air in and... Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was way easier than I thought. Yay! I'm gonna need some tweezers to be able to grab the sesame seeds. Okay, now the big question is, does it jiggle? I don't know why, but this just makes me so happy. Every time I poke it, it's like, ah, oh, stop it, oh, you're tickling me. It actually jiggles quite a lot. Check it out. Look, I have to admit that cat has better dance moves than, than I do. It just knows how to shake it. A real party animal, look at it. <laughs> It's smacking its butt with its head. Check it out. <laughs> That's not very demure. <laughs> oh no, oh no, I dare it. No. <laughs> wow, it's actually very good. I'm a monster. <laughs> Keep me away from society. This is the most cute food I've ever made. Are you kidding me right now? Apart from being sweet and milky, it's also very rich in flavor. And I think that's because of the black tea that we added. The black tea really leveled it up. Spectacular, give me 14 of them right now. The booty is gone. Now that I left it buttless and um, earless, Let's find out what happened with the colorful jiggly cat. The moat is giving us a little spoiler. It is kind of like, here is a little sneak and peek of the colors, of the stripes, of the masterpiece I just created. Oh, let's hope it doesn't flop. I mean, I kind of want it to be flopping a little. I am gonna let a little air in, like this. And then I'm gonna... That was not enough air. <laughs> Broke! <clears throat> Why should the good ones always leave so early? Cat, just mm, take a deep breath. I'm gonna save you, my dear. Stay with us. No, 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 it's falling apart. It is very fragile. I'm gonna try to make it jiggle a little, okay? This is probably the only jiggle we're gonna get from this one. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 there we don't go. I, I take it back. 
Why does it taste like that? I don't like the way it tastes. It's sweet, but it doesn't have any flavor. You know, it's very bland. It's just sweet. It's probably because I didn't put any black tea in this one. This one had to... This one had so much more flavor. The previous Jiggly Cat was so much more rich in flavor beyond just being sweet. It was more complex. I'm gonna proudly say that my attempt to make these Jiggly Cats was a massive success. Well, <laughs> Okay, let's just get rid of the massive and success. It was it was a success, come on. <laughs> okay, but what if I don't wanna stop here? What do you mean? I have ideas. What ideas? I wanna make more. Well, let me show you what Denny from the past did. She tried making a transparent one. <laughs> oh my God, we need to burn it. percent jiggle and 10 percent confusion all right this is enough for today let's wrap it up um if you guys enjoyed watching this video i think you might also like watching this here i tried making some transparent potato chips and here please watch this video it took me 27 hours to cover myself with rhinestones you can also find me on instagram facebook tiktok thank you guys so 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 much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye Mwah.